Hello everyone and welcome back to New Tech. Today we're going to show you how to connect your new Amazfit GTS2 Mini with Zeep app on an Android phone. Also in the next video we will show how to connect with an iOS device. Before we start, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. So, let's begin here immediately. We have here the new Amazfit GTS2 Mini and let's see how to connect it. To download the Zeep app, you can find it on Play Store by name, or you can find it by your QR code on your watch, you can scan the QR code and it will give you the link to download it. Hit install and wait until it's done. When it's done hit install again and we should have the app ready to continue. As we open it up it will ask you for permission to use Bluetooth so what we are going to do is allow it and turn on Bluetooth and GPS too. After you have done all the installing you have to scan the QR code in the watch with Zeep app scanner to connect it. You can find this in the third page, click the new device and select what device you have, this time we have to go with watch and scan it. Wait a little bit and after the watch it's found it will ask for a pairing request which you have to accept in the watch and phone too. That was it, it's this easy to connect it. Here at the top we have the percentage of battery and underneath that is the first option health monitoring where we can find auto heart rate monitor, active heart rate monitoring, sleep, stress and blood oxygen. Here on this page we can turn them on and off. Next is notification for incoming calls, app alerts where you can choose the apps that you want to get notifications from, standing reminder, incoming SMS, incoming email and goal notification, in this page you can customize these one by one so look carefully and see what options you want to turn on or off. After that we have watch faces where we can find a lot of them and it's very easy to change them. You can download a few and you can change them in a matter of seconds. To download one it may take a minute. Next we will find vibration for incoming call, watch alarm, app alert, standing time, SMS, goal notification and to-do list. In watch settings we will find system language where we can change the language and wearing manner where we can change from left or right hand. App list management is another option where we can change the positions of the apps, here we can put apps that we use more often at the top and those that we use less at the bottom. In the app settings we will see other apps that we can go like, Amazon Alexa or weather and to-do list. These options are in the watch too. Find watch, discoverable, activity heart rate share, real-time data, run in background, binding limits, lab, system update and about this device are the last options in this page. Back at the profile page where we are seeing my goal, my route, my records, friends, ad account, user feedback, smart analysis and settings. These were just in the watch page that we connected in the beginning, now we will see all the data from the first page that shows when you open the app. First stands the steps with charts and other datas for it, we can see statistics for day week month and year also we have data for distance, duration and burned calories that we did throughout this journey. After that is heart rate again with similar options the chart for lowest and highest heart rate and we can see for a day, week, month or a year worth of statistics. Next we have blood oxygen and stress same as other options before all the data will be here which makes it very easy to track our health. In workout history we'll find all the workouts that we did will all the data that is necessary like distance, burned calories, steps, heart rate etc. So, this is pretty much it on the new Amazfit GTS 2 Mini, how to connect and what to expect inside. This was all for today's video, in the next one we will show you how to connect your watch with iOS. I really hope you enjoyed and found this video interesting and helpful, if so, hit the like button and subscribe to our channel and we will see you in the next video with another smart device.